DJI has torn up its contract with Cadex over the whole Walksnail debacle. Why did DJI do this when Walksnail is supposedly not Cadex? And what happens now with Cadex Vistas for the DJI FPV system? Well, to understand why DJI tore up the contract, we need to understand the history. When DJI first launched the FPV system, DJI produced the air unit and the air unit light, as well as the camera. DJI entered into an exclusive agreement with Cadex to distribute the air unit light under the product name the Cadex Vista and also gave Cadex exclusive rights to manufacture cameras for the platform. Cadex, over the course of selling the Vista, received numerous feedback requests from the community and sent them off to DJI, who pretty much didn't do anything with them, one of the most notable ones being canvas mode. When the exclusive period finished on the contract, DJI and Cadex still had a distribution agreement. However, it was no longer exclusive, which meant DJI could work with other partners. DJI then gave distribution to Runcam to sell the air unit light under the name the Runcam Link, and to also make official cameras for the FPV system, which all went to market in August of 2021. So far, this all should make sense, but who is Walksnail and why do they even exist? Well, Walksnail as a legal entity has been around for some time, and as the community figured out, it was a subsidiary of Cadex. Most notably, you would have seen Walksnail branding on antennas when you've recently bought a Cadex Vista or an air unit. It seems that Cadex were frustrated with the lack of development and improvement and enhancement to the DJI FPV system. After all, they were the ones taking the brunt of the community feedback, only for DJI to do nothing. Now, DJI's business model is planned obsolescence, where you launch a product and within one to three years, you make that product obsolete, only for your customer to then have to buy the next generation because of no backwards compatibility. But DJI also likely felt that any marginal increase in sales by implementing community feedback wouldn't be financially worthwhile and would only lower sales of the next big thing they release. It seems Cadex felt there was enough demand to develop a DJI-like system with all of the different items of community feedback implemented. However, due to their agreement with DJI, Cadex couldn't do it under their own brand as there was probably a non-compete clause on VTXs, but not cameras. So Walksnail enters the chat. Cadex used their subsidiary brand Walksnail to try and circumvent this non-compete with DJI, which is why when the Fat Shark Dominator HD goggles were announced and Walksnail appeared out of nowhere, Cadex then denied their involvement with Walksnail. This is where DJI then lost it, and DJI probably worked out, like the rest of us did, that Walksnail was indeed Cadex, and this meant that Cadex was in breach of contract and specifically that non-compete clause. Now, it probably didn't help that the Cadex FPV system, when you would examine it, was an absolute blatant clone and reverse engineered version of the DJI FPV system in nearly every way. But this then brings us to the present day where Cadex have announced their agreement with DJI has come to an end. What this means is Cadex can no longer distribute the air unit light for DJI under the brand the Cadex Vista. And once their stock is gone, no more Vistas. But what about Runcam and the Runcam Link? Well, for the foreseeable future, Runcam can still distribute the air unit light under the product name the Runcam Link. However, this will only go on for as long as DJI wants to keep up production of the air unit light. As we know, DJI's business model is planned obsolescence, so how long this is going to be available in market is yet to be determined. This leads us to two important questions. What happens to Walks now now? And what about the next generation of the DJI FPV system? Well, let's start with DJI first. FCC filings reveal that there is a new air unit called the O3 air unit and a drone called the Avatar as well as DJI Goggles 2 are on the way. Leaks have confirmed that the Avatar is a Cinewhoop style drone. The other thing FCC filings didn't include was a mention of a radio controller. What I find alarming is FPV isn't included in any of the product names. It's the O3 air unit, the Avatar drone, the DJI goggles too. So could the lack of FPV being mentioned in the product name mean the end of DJI FPV as we know it? This leads us to walks now. Personally, I feel the FPV community was lied to and misled by Cadex for hiding behind walks now and previously claiming they had nothing to do with it. To me, this isn't a brand I can trust for longevity because they can just blow it up if the system doesn't take off. There's no skin in the game from Cadex. 
Also, with DJI releasing the Avatar drone, calling it the Walksnail Avatar HD system seems too close to a trademark infringement case, plus it's an absolute mouthful. Now, Cadex has cleared the air about Walksnail, so here's what I believe Cadex should do. They should drop the Walksnail Avatar branding and just call it the Cadex Digital FPV system. I'd have more trust in the platform, even though it's still under development, I'd be willing to back Cadex with their name on it. Walks now like escargot, it just tastes funny. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.